And in this short video, I will demonstrate how to grade an assignment in Moodle. Uh, I've given an assignment and I, I want to grade it. I will just uh, log on to, on to my Moodle. And then, uh, yeah, I'm in my Moodle now. So I have an assignment that I need to grade and it's a basic mathematics for Obongo. I scroll down to my courses. This is my course. So now I go straight to assessments. Now I have an assignment here which has been submitted. Okay. So I can see here that 36 students, uh, 36 students submitted and 33 needs grading. At least I've tried to grade three. So what I will do instead of viewing submission, I'll go straight to grading. Now, when I'm now inside here, I can see already when I check here, submission submitted for grading and this student has been graded. So I don't need to do anything. I'll just say show next. So I can go to the next graded again, show next. Uh, this one is this student graded. Yes, the student has been graded, show next. Uh, now this one is not yet graded. Let me see, oh, the file that is submitted here is not quite visible, I will not use this one. Let me just say show next and perhaps see if the quality, yeah, this one I think submitted something that can be visible. You see when I go on top here, ladies and gentlemen, there is, so you see when you click here, there are arrows here that are clear. So this is, these are PDF annotation symbols. So I want to indicate to this student of mine that no, the assignment is indeed marked by me. This is very useful, especially if, if there are a number of teachers teaching the same course and uh, the student would want to actually contact Walmart. So I will say marked by, uh, marked by, of course, it's myself. And you can see this is a, this is a PDF file, but I'm actually editing and I can indicate the date. This is uh, the 11th of May, 2020. Now I'll come straight. I have my marking scheme that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to mark here. I'll check my student here. Is this the correct answer? No, if the answer is not correct, I'll just come here, you see. I'll choose my my good pen here. This is not correct, it's not correct. So if the answer is correct, I can come here and put my correct mark, my correct mark, my correct mark. Now assume that I have marked wrongly, all these things are wrong and I want to, you see, I cannot submit this assignment with these marks. So I will use the this one, the arrow, which is facing up, I'll just click on the arrow and I'll come here, you can see I can remove this, I can remove this, I can remove this, I can remove this. You see, once I'm done, I can still come here under the grade. So I'll just count the tick, the ticks where I, you see, I'll count how many these ticks are throughout it uh, until the end. Then I can come and put the mark here. If the student got 60, I'll just put 60 out of 100, of course, 60 out of 100. And then I'll click save and, uh, and show next. So which means I'm able to grade the next person. So this is just for demonstration. You can play around with all these symbols, all these symbols. So I want to remove still this. This is not a mark. So I'll mark properly, I'll mark properly. Thank you very much, colleagues. I hope this is very useful when it comes to grading an assignment. So you can do virtually anything here. You can put a comment here. I can actually change the color of the comment. You see, I can do virtually a lot of things that I can do here. I can, what is this one? Yeah, I can add anything. I can even change the color of my, my marker. I can put any color here. You can see there's a lot of annotations. I can put a stamp, I can put a stamp here. Thank you very much. I, I hope this short illustration will help to grade an assignment. So this is the, actually the essay types and all the other form of assignments which are uploaded by the students in the form of a PDF. So you just need to take note here that there are these symbols that are hidden here. Instead of just downloading, you can still download and mark aside and then upload. 
but I prefer just marking here and then I save and show next. Thank you.